Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with The Anxious Resistance. Today I'm going to be talking about a new medication. It's called Rexulti, otherwise known by its generic name of Brexpiprazole. Now this is a new atypical antipsychotic. It's only been around for a couple of years and it's hailed as the breakthrough successor to Abilify or Aripiprazole. Now this is manufactured by the same company, but let's get into some of the details about it. It's used to treat mental health conditions such as schizophrenia and depression. In this video, we will explore what Rexulti is, its history, mechanism of action, evidence for use, side effects, pros and cons, as well as our overall take. So what is Rexulti? Rexulti is a medication that belongs to a class of drugs called atypical antipsychotics, as I mentioned before. This class of medication is also referred to as second generation antipsychotics. It is used to treat mental health conditions such as schizophrenia and depression. It is available in tablet form and is available only by prescription. So a little about the history or background of Rexulti. It was first approved by the FDA in 2015 for the treatment of schizophrenia as an adjunctive therapy for the treatment of major depressive disorder as well. It was developed by Otsuka Pharmaceutical and H. Lundbeck. Okay, so how does Brexpiprazole work? The mechanism of action for Brexpiprazole is not fully understood, but it is believed to work by modulating the activity of certain neurotransmitters in the brain, including dopamine and serotonin. Specifically, Brexpiprazole acts as a partial agonist, which means it's a partial activator, of the dopamine D2 and serotonin 5-HT1A receptors. So it has dopamine action as well as serotonin action. And it also has action at another serotonin receptor known as the 5-HT2A receptor. So two different serotonin receptors and one dopamine D2 receptor. This unique combination of partial agonism and antagonism at different receptors is thought to contribute to its therapeutic effects. Rexpiprazole has been shown to be effective in treating a range of mental health conditions, including schizophrenia and major depressive disorder. It is believed to work by improving the balance of neurotransmitters in the brain, such as that dopamine and serotonin, which can help to alleviate symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, and depressed mood. In summary, Brexpiprazole is an atypical antipsychotic that works by modulating neurotransmitters in the brain. So what exactly are the benefits of Brexpiprazole versus other antipsychotics? It has been shown to have several benefits over other medications currently on the market. One study found that compared to Aripiprazole or Abilify, Brexpiprazole has increased potency at certain receptors, leading to fewer potential treatment emergent movement effects. So again, when we're talking about treatment emergent movement effects, we're talking about EPS, which stands for extrapyramidal symptoms, as well as tardive dyskinesia. Now these are uncontrolled involuntary muscle movements that start out as what we call extrapyramidal symptoms. This is when you have pill rolling in your hand, maybe some lip smacking that you can't control, or even some other tics or twitches. And eventually these can become permanent and lead to a condition known as tardive dyskinesia. So as with all antipsychotic medications, you need to be aware of this, okay? So saying that Brexpiprazole has less of a chance of creating these effects is potentially very beneficial of its use. And it also is associated with less sedation and weight gain compared to Abilify or Aripiprazole, which again is a very popular antipsychotic because it does have less uh, potential side effects compared with other antipsychotics as well. So it is an improvement based on these studies over Abilify. Additionally, Brexpiprazole has been shown to be an effective alternative to typical or first and second generation atypical antipsychotics. However, as with any medication, it is important to weigh the pros and cons and make an informed decision with the guidance of a healthcare professional. So what are some of the evidences for use of Brexpiprazole? Research has shown that Rexulti may be effective in treating symptoms of schizophrenia and depression, 
a 2015 study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, found that Rexulti was effective in reducing symptoms of schizophrenia in adults. Another study published in the Journal of Affective Disorders found that Rexulti was effective in reducing symptoms of depression in adults. So let's take a minute and talk about the side effects and potential adverse reactions that can come from Rexulti or Brexpiprazole use. I already mentioned extrapyramidal symptoms and tardive dyskinesia, but Rexulti may also cause side effects such as weight gain, restlessness, agitation, drowsiness, and dizziness. It may also cause gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea and vomiting. Rexulti may interact with certain medications including antidepressants and antipsychotics. So overall, what are the positives or pros of Rexulti? It may be effective in treating the symptoms of schizophrenia and depression. Again, it's never a guarantee with any antipsychotic that it will work for you. But studies do show that it is more effective than placebo and it does have lesser side effects compared to Abilify, which is already known for having less side effects. It is widely available and incorporated into a treatment regimen. Rexulti has been shown to have a lower risk of side effects compared to other atypical antipsychotics, as I mentioned before. Okay, so what are some negatives or cons of Rexulti use? It may be effective in reducing symptoms of schizophrenia and depression, but it may cause side effects and interact with certain medications. It may also be expensive. It may not be covered by all insurance plans. That's because it's still new. It still hasn't gained popular use yet. And part of that is because of its expense. I don't see Brexpiprazole or Rexulti used in a clinical scenario very often because I think it's expensive and because maybe its potential benefits aren't exactly that much greater than say Abilify that's already available as a generic medication. So we may be waiting until you know the cost effectiveness of Brexpiprazole you know improves and that way we may start to see it used more often especially as it becomes generically available. Okay so the overall take on Rexpiprazole. As somebody who has struggled with anxiety and depression, I am always interested in new treatments that may help alleviate symptoms. Rexulti has been shown to be effective in schizophrenia and depression. I do think it shows a lot of potential, and I do think if those benefits over other atypical antipsychotics continue to prove out over time, then it is going to be worth it and it is going to be an improvement based on current treatments that we already have. That being said, it should be considered lower down the line, especially if your insurance doesn't cover it. I know at one point I looked to see if my insurance would cover this medication just because I was curious. And I do believe that it was coming out to be about $300 a month with insurance coverage. So it is expensive compared to other things such as Abilify, which is very similar medication that is generic, often a tier one medication, probably get it for 10 or 20 bucks a month. We need to wait to see if this proves itself out. But again, it is an option, especially if you're struggling with weight gain side effects, if you're struggling to you know, you get some of those extra pyramidal symptoms and you need an antipsychotic that works, please consider this medication. It may be right for you. And sometimes, you know, if it's the right fit, it's worth that 300 bucks a month. So if it works for you, please explore it. Look at the options, see what works best for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And thank you so much for joining me.